Hi team, how's it going? Kenyon here from the RX Debrief and welcome back to another debrief. Uh, today I'm joined by Chief. Hey bro. Hi. Uh, he's, uh, he's jumped on with me today. Levi's and Rotors are uh, Ben is saving lives somewhere and Mo is don't know where Mo is. Where's Mo? I just left. Yeah. Uh, a lot to talk about today. Uh, we obviously had the CrossFit Games over the weekend, so we're just going to go over and kind of give our thoughts on it and all that kind of stuff, and a bunch of other stuff, uh, especially about uh, Ricky Garrard. Have a bit of a chat My about that. My favourite topic. Yeah, Chief's favourite topic. Um, he had a few things to say, uh, especially after one of the events. So, uh, yeah, we'll get cracking into it. So, winners, Tia and Matt. Yep, did you know, did you know they were going to win? It was always going to be theirs to lose. But I was really shocked at how dominant they were right throughout their day. Yeah. After I watched uh, Friendly Fran and Matt destroy a 50 kilo barbell, it was pretty impressive. Like that's that was fire. It was so fast. Yeah. And uh, after that, I was like, man, I mean, he could probably bomb a few workouts, but they were all pretty much in his like repertoire. That front squat, he was always going to do really well with his Olympic lifting background, and then. You know, anything with handstand push-ups, he kills it. So, um, Diane was always going to be an easy one. So, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, he smoked it. How do you think Tia went? Uh, Good as always, eh? Yeah, he? she's... Won the first three events. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first place on the first three. Basically, I think second, third, fourth, and fifth are all fighting for second. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. They're just another level. And the fact that they train together as well. Yeah. Um, just... Yeah, I mean, Tia beats Matt at some stuff. If you look at some of the results, I think she beat him on a couple of workouts. Um, so the fact that Matt has somebody there to push him, because none of the men can do it. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Like, like Tia, Tia has to do it for, for him. Yeah, I just feel like the, you know, the, the difference between first and then everyone else is yeah. actually starting to separate a little bit. So uh, I was really impressed though with uh, Hayley Adams. Yep. I did not expect her to play. I, I thought she'd be top ten again. Yep. Did not expect her to be in the top five. I think she got third overall. Uh, yep. yep. So yeah, Haley Adams got so third. So you know she's beating two guns like Catherine and Sarah. I uh, saw Catherine and Carrie. Yep. So you know those two are, are weapons, and she's ahead of them. Uh, I would, you know, she's definitely going to be the next rising star. I would say she will probably be the one that would, once Tia Tia, Tia Toomey starts to either wane or finish. She'll be the one that will come through. Yeah, that's and, my prediction. Yeah, and how old is she? Nine, nineteen. Nineteen, and she's already at that level. That's what crazy. were you doing when you're nineteen? Um, chasing birds, I think. <laughs> <laughs> chasing birds and drinking alcohol. Yeah, but wasting would, would wasting you, my would, time. Yeah, so our our top five for the girls were Tia, Tia, obviously we got Brooke Wells who came second, which I was surprised by. Yeah, yeah, I thought um I didn't even consider her to to make the top five. Um, but she's obviously worked on her gymnastics and all that kind of stuff. She's pretty even across the board. 10th, 3rd, 5th, 8th, 3rd. It's pretty, pretty even score. It's probably her most consistent performance, I would say. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is, definitely. The thing that was surprising me most about Brooke Rice, is she still under Ben Bergeron? I don't know. I think she's uh, left yeah. Ben Bergeron's sort of coaching. Yeah. So whoever she's under now, there's obviously been like a little bit of a switch and maybe a freshener. Yep. And it's paid dividends, so it was really impressive to see her. Yep. I didn't expect her to get anywhere near the top ten, so no. that just shows you how shit I am at predicting stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you saw me and Levi's predictions last week, I think we got two right. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is, is totally like not on our list. The guys, okay, obviously Matt Fraser first, Noah Olsen second. Did you think Noah would get her? Yes. Oh, I, yeah. I, yeah, he's... I, I met Matt and Noah first. Yeah, first. And second. But that was it. The other three? Yeah, the other three I got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Justin M Medeiros, I don't yeah. even know who he is. Samuel Quant, I've heard of him. He's been on the scene, like I've seen his name and stuff uh, uh, on the leaderboard and at, at previous CrossFit games and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, didn't know much about him. And Jeffrey Adler, don't know who that is. Yeah. What did we think of the, what did we think of the events? Let's go to the first one. Uh, the Friendly Friend, what do you think of it? Did you know that, did you know it'll go sub, like yeah. that low? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Oh, it, you know, because was it 63 reps of each? Yep. Yeah, so, it, you know, for all of them, 60, they would probably do 63 unbroken chest bar pull-ups. Yeah. You know, with that ability, and the weight's not heavy heavy. I would say, what was a lot of their front squats? Uh, their front squats were... Up around the, sort of, the 180 mark. 400, yeah, 400 pounds. Yeah, so 180 mark, 190 mark. Yep. So you're looking at about, just over 25% of their 1RM. 
Yeah. Right, so that 50 kilos is a piece of, you know, not that heavy, so they'd be able to fly through that pretty quickly. Yeah. So it was, I always thought that it was a workout where if you broke, you're dead. Yeah. So you had to go and break it. Yeah. Now, Matt Fraser, he, so he won it with a 308, um, which is 47 seconds faster from the person who came second, which was Noah Olsen. Now, 47, 47 seconds doesn't sound like that many, but when, uh, like, that much of a gap, but when the time it takes you is so short, that is such a large percentage. That's probably of 21 how much. thrusters and probably about five chest of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a big percentage. So he absolutely smashed it now. With the second one, one around front squat, Griffin, I don't know how to say his last name, Royal, Royal, 490 pounds. 220. 220 kilos for front squat. That is stupid. Absolutely ridiculous. Like that's my one RM deadlift. Dan Diane, Fraser, 2 minutes 44. Beautiful workout, yep. I thought. Yep. I thought I just like that real quick, uh, intense. And, and what was interesting that a lot of the workouts were really short. Yep. You know, the row, Dan Diane, Fran. Yep. Yeah, even even the anyone was really, really short. Yep. And uh, I just thought that that one with there was probably my favorite. The row, holy shit, Roman Krenikov. Um, yeah. 2 minutes 48 seconds on a 1,000 meter row. I think Chief was saying before, uh, he's pretty keen for some of us to test out our 1,000 meter row just to get a comparison. But I personally think, I don't know if I can break three minutes. I don't think I'll break, hold th nah, I don't think I'll break three minutes. I just want a big tier. She got three, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, and the girls? Yeah, something, yeah. 315, I think she got. So I just want to beat that. So if I can beat tier, then I'm, the, I'm better than girls. <laughs> Fraser, only one to go sub 18 minutes on Nasty Nancy. Um, he did 17 minutes 50. There is another dude who, <laughs> uh, yes. who we'll talk about it later, yeah. who beat him, or put, supposedly beat him. Um, but what do you think about that nasty Nancy workout? That's man, heavy, that's man. heavy. That's heavy. Like, I forgot, oh, like, you know, like for the 80 kilo overhead squat's not that heavy. It's heavy. Like, yeah. like when you're throwing, you've just jacked your heart rate to, you know, to probably around that 160, 170 beats per minute. But to then come off that and then throw a 80 kilo barbell above your head, hold it, and then squat for 15 reps, and then bar face burpees for 15, and then go back out in the run. That is all about how much are you willing to suffer. Yeah. And that's all it is. So, and if you're willing to suffer and gun it, then you're gonna do well, but that's hard, man. And if you have got like a wide ass, terrible mobility overhead squat, a la me. Yeah, like us, yeah. It's gonna be, that's, you know, I would say, if I get 25 minutes, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, no, that's an ugly workout. That's I, ugly. I, I hate overhead sports yeah. and it's heavy. And I hate bar facing movies. I hate running. <laughs> it's us. I hate that workout. That'll be horrible to do. Even doing the 80 kilo front squats, like yeah. doing that as a front squat, I'd still reckon that'll be ugly. I'd break. Yeah, it'd still be hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, the handstand hold. That was interesting. Cool um, workout. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Most of the guys ended up going, well, the, the top guys got just under two minutes, one minute 50 something. Yeah, yeah, around that block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which I think Noah took out. Yeah, yeah. yeah he did. Noah took that out. But yeah, what do you think of that one? Cool workout. Yeah. Because it's really interesting because it's, it's, we all know that a lot of these guys can handstand walk. And we were talking about it earlier today here in the gym. Yeah. Which is that when you learn, when you learn, in CrossFit, we actually kind of bypass handstands and just go straight to handstand walking. So what we end up doing is we actually learn the we learn to lose that ability to to figure out where your balance point is and then tip and then walk. We kind of just like walk. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're so used to seeing them walk and go up ramps and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, that now to actually control a highly complicated movement such as a handstand hold while under fatigue. Yeah. And I thought it was really cool. Really good test. Yeah. Which is what it was about. Yeah. Just pure gymnastics. Yeah. Um, Interesting techniques as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mainly not really from the uh, from the guys. Did the guys do that? Oh, there was uh, actually Matt Fraser planched a lot. Oh, so like, like yeah, tip yeah. Does, yeah. So he would tip and come in, so he'd get his shoulders forward yep. and then he'd press back out and then hold. Yeah, yeah. That was just to get him a bit more balance and a bit more sort of drive. Interesting. Yeah, real interesting. I don't know about the. I'd love to send Chandler Smith. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually I should watch that. Because that would probably be the funniest. Yeah, 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 definitely. Ah, uh, last one, Awful Annie. Uh, what do you think about that one? Most of the guys, I think, Fraser went sub nine. Only one to go sub nine. Um, that is a lot of GHC sit-ups. It is a... It's, it's 150, right? 
150 yeah, 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 40, 40, 40, yeah, yeah. It's 150 G. I don't know if I can do 150 G H setups in nine minutes. Yeah, it's did, a lot. Did, 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 did you see them talk about like? Did they talk about the roof at all? Did you hear them say nah, that it blew up the wrist or anything nah, like that? You know what? I, don't, I just thought that was just give them something different to double under. Yeah, you know, I don't think they would have smoked them out. Literally, the hardest part of that workout would have been the GHDs. I don't think the rope would have played that much of a difference. Yeah. And the clean is just a pain in the ass. What was the clean weight? One, one, two, five. One, two, five. Which they all, I haven't, I didn't see. I've seen like maybe three or four of them do that workout, and they, they've all power cleaned it. Yeah. None of them had to squat it. So easy. It's kind of just a money. So Tia uh, on her first one, she only just beat out Kara. Uh, Tia did a three minute forty, and Kara was nine seconds behind her. So that was a little bit closer. I was shocked at that. I thought Kara would have taken it. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. I would have, I'd never, I don't know. I, I don't think Kara would have done that. I, I, I thought that would be a bad off food, but obviously it wasn't. Well, just because she's so short. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, right. and she's so powerful that I yeah. thought that she would have been a bit quicker, but, you know, maybe coming back from baby, she's just maybe lost half a step. The next one, front squats. Tia took that one out of game with a 313. 313 pounds, which is 142, I worked out. 142 kilo, front squat. Can you do that, bro? <laughs> yes. That's heavy, like that's like, that's yeah. heavy. Yeah. And, and for someone who's probably around that sort of 65 kilo mark, so she's lifting three to almost three times her body weight. Yeah, yeah, that's absurd. No that's wonder she's so good, because she's so strong, but she's so tiny. So that's her me less than 250. Yeah, yeah. Damn Diane, our results on that one. Our oh, tier again with yeah. 228 on Damn Diane. That's faster than that. See, man, when they train together, that's, that's the only way they're gonna, that's why they're so good now, I reckon. What they is spend always, a lot of time. What is that? They're, they're quite right. If you, wanna, if you wanna run fast, you don't run with slower people, you run with faster people. Yeah. So that's how you get faster, because you're always in that competitive environment. Yeah. Obviously that's, you know, works really well for them. And so a thousand meter row, three minutes 15. Yeah. Karen, F Karen Freya. 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 Never heard of her before. Nah. Don't know where she's from. Um, I've seen the flag yeah. and I can't figure out where that's from. I, <laughs> it looks like Czech Republic or something? Yeah, it looks like that. It's like yeah. Croatia or something. Um, but yeah, she did a 315 row. So I reckon I can get closer to that. I can possibly beat that. that that's what I'm going to go for today. I'm going to try and beat that. Yeah, 315. I don't care about three minutes. This time. I only want to be her. Yeah. Uh, and then Katrin. Katrin done an awesome job of getting back into the top five. Biggest uh, comeback. From here onwards. She was pretty low before. And then she hit uh, Nasty Nancy and got 1816. Followed up by uh, the handstand hold. So she. Moved on to the Hanson Hold and won that as well. Now she did 2 minutes 54, which is almost, that's like a whole minute faster than the guy who won it. So she did awesome. And this is what we were talking about. She did that split. Um, she did like a split yeah. counterbalance kind of thing. I'll try and throw a video up first so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, she really did her handstand hold and then did the splits yeah. and kind of use that kind of like a like a balance. It's like a lever, right? Yeah. Kind of like offset. So we were talking to Amber, who's like our gymnastics lady. Yeah. And we asked her, would you do that right from the start? And she goes, actually, you probably would, because it'll save you as you go further into it. If you start with vertical and then you come out, it's quite hard to then hold that position, but it's easier to come back up. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah. I, only uh, saw, I yeah. don't have mechanics to do that. My, I don't. I got no flexibility. Yeah. Awful. Awful any. Um, so Tia, I think Tia actually beat the guys on this one. She went sub eight minutes. Yeah, eight forty six was the fastest guys. Yeah, so she went, Matt. <laughs> so she beat Matt by like a whole, like almost a minute. Um, so fast. Yeah, which is insane. Okay, and then this leads us into so um, kind of the topic we wanted to go into today was um, Aussie bloke Ricky Garrard. Um, so a few guys are all in the CrossFit team. You know who this guy is. But yeah, if you don't know Ricky Garrard. He uh, got banned, he came third at the CrossFit Games of 2017. Um, later found out that he was doing steroids and PEDs and uh, got his title taken off him and got a four year ban. Well he, this year is his last year of his ban and he wants to come in with a big ban. So what he's done is he actually done a mock games at his gym over in Oz and pretty much did all of the workouts um, that the games guys did. I mean, he was fiery man. He was fiery. What, what, what do you think of Ricky Garrard's comeback? 
got to have a bad guy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every hero needs a bad guy. Matt Fraser's your hero. You need a bad guy. You need you need Ricky Brown. Yeah, I love it. I actually love having the bad guy. I don't know what he did, etc., etc. But he's paid his dues, and uh, once it's four years up, no matter what your opinion is, it's, yep. he is allowed to compete. And obviously, there will be some strict. Uh, uh, people watching it, like people watching it very closely. Yep. But man, I think CrossFit is missing a bad guy. It's yep. missing the guy to hate. Yep. He's that person. I love it. I love the the fieriness and the, the banter that's going to go on. And I think he's going to embrace that bad guy in Monica. Yeah. And uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. He's he's he. I, I, after watching the stories, I'm going to put up a video now of of him complete completing uh, event five yep. or N- Nasty Nancy. He played Nasty Nancy and he actually beat Matt Fraser. He got 10 seconds fast or something like that. Um, but I'll put that video up and how he celebrated. Reminds me of like a like a, a Conor McGregor kind of yeah. kind of person. Yeah. Like him and his brother, they just look like they, you know, they want to call people out. They want to they want to start trouble. Yeah. And there's, I don't think there's any of that. In, there's none of that in CrossFit. Everyone's everyone's really nice, which PC. is cool. Yeah, yeah, everyone's busy and nice. But um, I mean, I don't know. It depends how CrossFit take it. But you could see this as kind of like if he carries on the way he does, you could see this as kind of like a, a money making thing for, yeah. for CrossFit. Oh, like like how they did with Conor McGregor and Mayweather, or you know anything Conor McGregor was in, they they just made so much money just because he's such an asshole. He's just gonna have uh, a huge like if I was him, I'd be going for that us and them attitude. Yeah, it's me against the world. You know, I've got I'm not redeeming myself for you guys, redeeming redeeming it for myself. And you know, I would totally be going after Matt Fraser, and I would just be jockeying and and slam everyone on social media just like everyone's going to be slamming me already so I might as well go on the offensive as well yeah. you know there's been a lot of rhetoric in the recent uh, weeks around people their thoughts on it should he actually even be allowed to be back in the sport um, until they change and ratify the rules you guys can have your opinions but your opinions don't mean anything to be honest because the rules are the rules and you just have to follow them all the best to Ricky Garrard I love a bad guy <laughs> yep. Yep. I love a bad guy I love all the stir that he's. Oh, uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, that, that he's that he's creating. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah. So, uh, with that, have you got any other words? Yeah, I I think CrossFit Games. Well done to Dave Castro, and all of us. They they put on a show. He's all about theatrics. He loves the theatrics side of it. He's always thinking about what's the what how best to implement the games for the wider community. I think he's done that really well with hey jump in and do it at the same time as everyone else. Uh, I like the fact that they made it really fair across the board for different time zones. So the Aussies and Kiwis and people in the Southern Hemisphere actually were a day ahead of the people in the States, who I think were about five hours ahead of people in Europe. So that everyone got a fair uh, opportunity to, to work out. I think when they did the qualifiers, no, when they did the Rogue Invitational, it was at exactly the same time. And people here, like I think Cara was doing it at midnight in Australia. Because yeah. So it was unfair, and I think that's probably a lesson they learned, and they changed that. Yeah. So well done to CrossFit. Incredible um, uh, online games. I think they probably far exceeded the expectations of a majority of people. And I look forward to what's happening in the Romus. Yeah, yeah. So that is uh, that's coming up in yeah, I didn't check. Uh, uh, October. It's in October. Yeah, midway through October anyway. I think it's for about five, seven days. Nineteenth uh, to the twenty-fifth. Oh, there we go. It's right there. Yep. So. Uh, <laughs> yep, so October 19th to 25th, uh, the finals are going to be on there, uh, hopefully it'll be, a, it'll be a bit of an easier viewing, um, what do you call it, viewing? Uh, the viewer experience viewer will experience be better. Cool. Yep. What do you reckon they're going to put? Obstacle. You reckon they'll put an obstacle? Yeah, you might as well, he's got Something. a huge farm for it. Yeah, yeah, like he could just build one there. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure, I, I, I just know it'll be a whole bunch of, um, there'll be a lot more. Um, unorthodox stuff I think yeah you know like 
I think one of the themes that I took away from the online qualifier was very benchmark based. Yeah. So maybe that might be the, the flow on theme uh, going into the next one will be a bit more benchmarky. They did the standard RGA, yeah, which is the 30 ring muscle yeah, 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 yeah. Grace and Isabel. Yeah, so maybe on. they might bring back maybe a DT and a maybe a Cindy or something. Yeah. Something like that, because they did Mary as well. So you know, maybe that's something that they'll kind of bring in. Who knows, man, but I know Dave Castro and those guys will put on one hell of a show. Yeah. All right, team. So uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Chief, for coming onto the show. Uh, and before I go, uh, we're going to actually do, last week we did a giveaway, Killcliffe giveaway. You get two cases of these. We actually found one more box. So we're going to do another giveaway. Uh, details of that will be coming out tomorrow. So uh, make sure to jump on our Instagram page, tag all your mates, and be in the chance to win some, uh, some Killcliffe. Uh, if you miss out again, we also have a discount code. All right, so RX Debrief, get your 10% off uh, on your next purchase. So um, with that being said, team, have a great week. Have a great day. We will keep you updated. And other than that, see you later. Peace. Cheers.